morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently late. It's late. Literally, I had my alarm set for 5 a.m., y'all, and I slept until 7.30. You know, you can either feel shame that you didn't wake up early, or you can go, okay, my body must have really needed that rest if I physically didn't wake up after three alarms. So I'm not gonna feel shame about that. I'm going to actually just love my body today. This video is just gonna be a couple of days of my life. It's Friday, so I'm gonna show you my weekend. My friend is coming into town. She's one of my best friends from childhood. So I always wanna be mindful of the thoughts that come to mind as I'm vlogging because it perhaps might be something that God might wanna share with you. But something that he's teaching me is that the only person that we are in competition with is ourselves. I think if you're trying to do anything in life, you're trying to you know, work out more, you're trying to eat healthier, you're trying to, um, ugh, William talking. <laughs> like whatever you're trying to do, it is the easiest thing in the world to compare your progress with everybody else. At the end of the day, like the only person you are in competition with is who you were yesterday. If that's our goal, we don't have to look at what everyone else is doing. I'm just speaking from personal experience. It's so easy for me to look at what other people are doing and compare myself, right? The only person we are in competition with is ourselves. So we just gotta get 1% better than we were yesterday. And if we do that, then that is good enough. So I just got done with a meeting and I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and get work done because when I'm editing and I'm just sitting in my office editing, I realize that I'm an extrovert in those moments because like I just need to be around people. But I'm gonna try to go to the coffee shop, get some work done, like literally grind. <laughs> I'm gonna grind <laughs> before my sweet friend Kelsey comes and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. So I wanna pick up some fun stuff for cooking. I'm gonna need to clean the basement as well. So it's just gonna be fun, but we need to grind. Before we grind, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. So here is my outfit. It's kind of slouchy, chill girl. I mean, it's kind of giving me Parisian vibes a little bit. Guys, my camera is literally so jank right now. This thing is like coming off. Do you see it? Like, help. <laughs> it's hanging on by a literal thread. It broke in my night routine video. Maybe I can show footage of that. Love that. Okay, so we have this top from Zara. I love it. It's Zara honestly has just some really cute stuff and I love it because stripes are really trending right now and if you want to get a trending piece that is not going to cost a lot of money and you don't want to break the bank, definitely go to Zara. And then I have these pants from Princess Polly. I just think that they're so cute. They're the black trousers and I swear guys, you know some pants that you're sitting down and you feel your tummy, I feel like these jeans are like bulging my tummy. These pants don't do that. They have a lot of give, which is really nice. And then I have my New Balances, my 530s. Anyway, this is my outfit. We're gonna go to a coffee shop and get some work done. I just want you to tell us, mom, how many subscribers you have now. I just wanna say I think I have 112 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> And I'm so grateful because I started, <laughs> it was bad. I had six and then two. No, but it out. was because we, we talked about it in the last video. We talked about it in the last video. We prayed on it and you came through. So they came through. I love you.
I am just in my car now waiting for this to stinking upload. It's so annoying. It's two o'clock, I'm hitting my red zone. I read this book called At Your Best by Carrie Newhoff. He talks about green zones, yellow zones, and red zones. Green zones are when like you have the most energy in your day, you are the most positive, you can grind, you're creative, you're coming up with new ideas. Then he talks about the yellow zone, you're just kind of 50-50, and then red zones when you're like seriously unwell, you are cranky, you're questioning everything that you're doing in your life. That is the zone that I'm in right now. Seriously, this is taking so long to upload. Like, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> are we okay? <laughs> By the blood of Jesus, we are safe. I just ate so much food <laughs> and you know what I'm so glad I did because we are to eat drink and be merry as Ecclesiastes says it was so fun hanging out with Kel so Kelsey and Cece hung out for the first time tonight it was just like my literal worlds colliding which was really cool because Cece's like my girl here and Nash and then Kelso is my childhood bestie, so to have two really important people in my life meet is just so surreal, and I'm sure you guys feel that too in your own life, like when two people, when your worlds collide, it's really special. But anyway, tomorrow, I will not be vlogging because it's Shabbat Shalom, meaning like it's just my day off where I don't film anything, I don't post a single story, I don't even go on social media, and God has blessed my Sabbath so much. You know, I try to create content for you guys like every single day, but my Saturday is my day where I get to receive from the Lord, because it's like constant output, and Saturday is a really special day to just receive from Him, and I get so much wisdom and rest on my Saturday. So I'm not gonna be filming tomorrow, but I will be filming on Sunday, and just we're gonna have other fun things on Sunday that we're going to together, but tonight was really fun to hang out with you guys, and um, I'm excited for Sunday. Love you guys. I'll see you on Sunday. Mwah. Hello. It is Sunday, and this is my outfit. Outfit of the church day. Kelsey and I are about to go to church. I just, guys, it's honestly so funny the way that my literal camera is broken. Like, it's truly hilarious. It's truly hilarious, like I'm dying. Like I'm dying laughing about it, you know? I think it's so funny. Update is, I have like an ear infection, y'all. So that happened and totally don't believe that that is from the Lord, but I'm just clinging to scripture. And even though I don't feel good, I'm just fixing my thoughts on God. He says in his word, Isaiah 26, three, he says, you will keep him in perfect peace all whose thoughts are fixed on you because he trusts in you. If I focus on the way that I feel, I'm like gonna really struggle today. And if I just focus on God, I'm actually going to have peace and I'm going to be able to love people. I'm gonna be abiding in him to be able to do this day, to get my work done, to love, love, love the people that God has given me to love. If you're feeling just not good today, it's a reminder, even though we don't feel good, we get to fix our mind, not on how we feel, but on who he is. And it actually, like that mindset is what can carry us through a, a hard day. <laughs> Something like
like that you feel right now? I feel overwhelmed with love. So, homegirl is a bit unwell right now. I just feel tired, y'all. I guess this ear thing is just kind of like taking the energy out of me, you know? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna rest. It's really important that we listen to our bodies and what our bodies are telling us. My body's like, Ashley, you need to chill out. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna chill out with me, I guess. Which is really sweet because like, this is one just, <laughs> he's so perfect, you guys. Like, I don't think he's flawed. He has no flaws. Thanks for watching this video. Please let me know the kind of videos that you wanna see. If you made it to this point in the video, comment this emoji. And yeah, I just hope that you feel I hope that you feel inspired and encouraged by this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah!